Welcome to Seltzer Reviewer. I'm your host, Jeffrey Gleason. This is episode 22, La Dose Vida Seltzer. In 2020, La Dose Vida Seltzers were born in Quebec, Canada, and shortly thereafter, made their way down south into the United States, including Michigan, and they have their eyes on expansion. Although just a fledgling company, they have global aspirations with the next stop being Europe and further down the road, the big boy, China. I've had my La Dolce Vita seltzers chilling in the Honeywell at a frosty 35 degrees because you've got to keep your gold cold. And I am open to doing this review because I've never done one from my northern brother. Oh, Canada. What do you have in store for us? We will find out. Uh, let's start with a little uh, information on what the company is. They are a Italian cocktail-inspired seltzer brand with only three flavors at the moment, but there are plans in the very near future of adding new flavors. So that sounds good to me if it tastes good to me. So uh, let's get into the uh, nutrition facts because there's not much about the ingredients. Uh, maybe they do things differently up north. Well, of course they do, it's Canada. Uh, but as far as labeling, I mean, uh, there's really nothing labeled about the ingredients. I dug a little bit on the website, but still not much information. Uh, 90 calories, gluten-free. This is a vodka seltzer, which really sounds good to me. Been loving those lately. Uh, definitely do prefer it over the, those uh, cheaper uh, malt uh, seltzers. Uh, three grams carbohydrates, uh, they say La Dose Vida, the good life, uh, or maybe the sweet life. Uh, and the first flavor, El Cosmo or Cranberry. Uh, let's get started. Okay. Pours clear. It's a uh, medium carbonation. surprise there uh, don't taste the dryness from the cranberry or the tartness it's more of a sweet taste a sweet cranberry quite lovely uh, different gotta go back and try that again give it a fair score there a right score a just score I like it uh, like it a lot actually uh, cranberry, I'm going to go 7.5. I like it a lot. Okay, good start. La Dose Vida. This is La Limonada or Lemon Lime. Okay, and I like the cans. The packaging is a bit busy. That's a small critique there. Uh, I really care about the taste more than anything, but uh, if we're going to get, you know, uh, nitpicky that's what I would say here we go pours clear as well oh yeah this is crisp refreshing basically mm, an alcoholic sprite uh, very balanced citrusy sweet not a tart not a sour kind of flavor that you might expect that's fine by me uh, wow, natural lemon and lime flavor. Really like this one. Okay, Canada. Alrighty. And you know, without even trying them, but just eyeing them, um, I like the flavor flavors that they have, or even the flavor pairings, because there is uh, you know a few here, two here, lemon lime. Uh, and I don't want to jump ahead, but ruby grapefruit with blood orange uh really kind of wowing me here uh, i haven't heard about these i haven't seen anyone drinking them i haven't seen an advertisement i just picked them up off the shelf okay 8.0 that's quite strong one more left and i feel good heading into this uh finale here this is il pompelmo 
uh, Ruby Grapefruit Blood Orange. Quite a combo. Two fruits I personally enjoy. Okay, pours clear as well. Kind of what I expected, and that's fine. Excuse me. You get a little bit of that floral taste from the blood orange. It's not bitter at all. It's a, it's a sweet grapefruit. Ruby red is sweeter typically. Oh man. Really nice. Perfectly paired together. Those fruits uh, are a match made in total wine. No, a match made in a can. That, man, okay. Uh, that's my favorite one. Uh, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. 8.2. Okay. Uh, sure, look forward to more flavors coming from this company. Uh, I hope people buy this product so that the American stores continue to stock it. So, uh, let me type these in, get an average here. Okay, final score for La Dolce Vita Seltzer. 7.9, bravo. Well done, like, share, subscribe.